All right, hopefully we're, wa we're live, <clears throat> winging it as always. <laughs> Kenny with Helicopter Line Ground School, we've got everything tore up because we've got our, excuse me, area over here for Ken doing our illustrating. So let me get a quick drink here. We were rushing around to get ready. And uh, again, we've got our everything tore up because we've got this as a design area for Ken right now, which is perfect because it's working great. So we just got to move cameras around and stuff. And uh, we've been working on the Hogs Wall of Fame, getting it updated, and some other cool stuff coming up. So what I want to share with you today is what Ken was drawing today was we were putting some animated drawings to one of the presentations inside the aerodynamic section inside Private Pilot. We've updated, I should count them, out of like 17 videos, at least probably 12 have been updated. We're working on one of the last ones to get an update so we can call the aerodynamic section complete before Ken goes back to Colorado. And then I believe we're going to have him doing some stuff remotely because he's enjoying doing it. And I'm thrilled at what he's doing. So today I want to share, you, share with you what we were doing today. So this is going to be kind of a rough video. I'm going to have Heather queue it up. You have it queued up, ready to go over? Yeah. I'm going to walk over there so I can see it. So go ahead and click that, Heather. And basically just a rough view here. This is a presentation where we're out flying in the helicopter. And we were teaching to auto rotative descent. So you can see here how we pull these PowerPoints into a video where we're flying, which, you know, hey, back when I did that in 2016, 17, whenever I did it, I thought it was great. But over time, you know, I'm really trying to, who wants to just sit and stare at a, at a PowerPoint? So during that video, you'll see some images here popping up. So when we're showing you these images, you're looking at a PowerPoint with a helicopter drawn on the screen through a PowerPoint. So that's what you can see right now. Now, look what we're doing where we're, like when we're talking about the air uh, in forward flight, how the airflow is coming in. And again, this is a rough edit here. You can see a little thing going across the screen. I just record this before we went live so I could show you. So we'll insert something like this where you're seeing a helicopter drawn, Schweitzer, hint, hint, uh, to what's to come, air flowing coming down from the top during forward flight. And then we go to the next image where what happens when you change from forward powered flight to descending during an auto rotation, air flow going up through the top. So just to give you a little, and I just, when we did that, I'm like, that's the first time I've done some animated with a drawing, but uh, I'm really excited about it. And you can put us back on the other camera, Heather. So I just want to share that with you. I'll have that um, edits, that part I'm going to finish editing tonight. And further in that video, we bring up a PowerPoint of a freewheeling unit drawn on a PowerPoint, which, you know, hey, it worked at the time, but we're going to do, probably run out of daylight today, but maybe tomorrow before I, I come out here, we're going to take out a bicycle because in that video we talk about a freewheeling unit. It's like on a bicycle, right? When you're riding your bicycle and you're powered flight and you're turning the wheels, you're powering that bicycle, but all of a sudden you stop pedaling, your freewheeling system lets the bicycle keep moving, right? And everything else keeps spinning. You're just no longer putting power to it. So we're going to grab my golf cart and a bicycle and a GoPro and go out and shoot a pedaling bicycle and get some nice up cl close shots to give you, when we're talking about a freewheeling system, an actual visual image other than a PowerPoint on the screen. So that's what we've been doing for the last couple of weeks. And we chose aerodynamic section as the one that I wanted to work on with Ken. Brian Rutledge has been working up new videos for uh, attitude instrument flying. And a few weeks ago, he completed five new videos in night flying. So we've been working heavy on three sections inside private pilot now for a couple months. And, you know, what's fun is as you, well, this has been a 10 year project and will continue until I can't work anymore. Slim day, hopefully many years from now. And uh, everything you do is a process. And just what we drew with Ken from the first day with an airfoil to what we're doing today, it's just getting more and more exciting as he learns, you know, he's learning aerodynamics. He's not a pilot, but he's an artist and a designer. So being here for a few weeks and learning aerodynamics, the more he draws, the better he gets, the better I get with the editing. So I'm super excited about all these aerodynamic images and just know that, you know, we've raised the bar now, right? So 
we're going to attack the most boring videos first, right? Trying to get away from just PowerPoint, PowerPoint, you know, two, three sections of, of verbiage on a page. That's too much for anybody, right? Because you're falling asleep trying to watch, you know, a screen with a PowerPoint. It's boring. Sometimes PowerPoint's necessary, but we're going to continue to keep working on these videos. So we promised a couple hoodie giveaways. This is two left of the special edition ones with the yellow logo. We're going to give away a large and an extra large. And we'll probably try to go live again tomorrow. Tomorrow, I think we might do some t-shirts because a lot of people have had the books we've been giving away. It's like, oh, I already got that book. I already got that book. So for this giveaway, since I thought, since we're going into fall, we're in fall now, right? We've had a lot of nice weather, but now we're starting to get fog. This morning we had frost when I got up. It's time to start worrying about icing, fog, freezing rain, all these issues that come up for areas like us where we live in the Midwest, where you got to start thinking again. Freezing, you know, fog, and all these things come about. Because you want to make a good weather decision and decide when to stay on the ground. Live to fly another day. Helicopterground.com this is serious business, guys and girls. It ain't no joke. That's the old no-go button. Anyway, it ain't no joke, man. Making weather decisions is crucial, and this is why people get killed, and this is why helicopter EMS pilot is one of the most dangerous jobs in the country, because they're still crashing, taking off, thinking they can do it, I can get there, and then instead of Fessing up and claiming you got an emergency and calling for help and getting a squat code and climbing and getting help from ATC, you try to fly out of it and you end up losing control of the aircraft and flying to the ground or you fly in a tower or you fly into a mountainside. So it's time, everybody, during our Halloween sale, a uh, serious moment there, but you know, this is serious business. So I'm going to ask two different questions from the new private pilot study guide when we get done we'll put a link down below this video it's not that currently but as soon as we hit stop we'll add this link below brian rutledge puts this together has over 400 questions and today i just started leafing through it you know because there's 400 to choose from so i thought due to the weather thing we would ask a couple questions regarding these weather decisions that you're going to be making soon and you're going to need to be brushing up on reading forecast reading me tars looking at the weather so for the let's give away the large first we're going to give away the large hoodie with the yellow logo and what i want you to do is try to spell properly and use commas and don't just try to rush to win you know and, and don't type please type the answers correctly okay the best answer the first best answer is going to be the winner of the first one so what are the three types of icing? There's three of them that we commonly refer to. It's a common question from an examiner to say, what are the three types of icing? So we're gonna look over here. I have the screen up here and we'll watch for something to come in. Um, what can I talk about real quick while we wait for our first winner? Anyway, let us know about the new videos. We haven't had much feedback inside the site and I think people are just finally kind of getting back to studying but you know we've had some great comments here on YouTube but a lot of people on YouTube and that's great but we haven't heard from our members inside the site and I'm just kind of been scratching my head going man we're putting a lot of work in these and I'm re really proud of these and back to the point of the ones we started with if you don't know and you're new to these recent videos we've been doing Dave Redman does a lot of these aerodynamic image or videos but he drew on a whiteboard and people have said all along, man, it's really hard to see that whiteboard. We didn't want to lose Dave Redmond's teaching. So we had Ken illustrate what Dave was drawing on the board. We still go back to Dave when he's talking to the camera, but when Ta Dave gets ready to write on the board, we have Ken illustrate the same thing Ken drew it, but with more color. And it's made those videos just phenomenal. Um, so it looks like, which one do you think is the first one, Heather? Mark Berman. That's what, I, that's what I would say. Just checking real quick. Looks like Mark Berman. 
Rhyme clear and mixed. Clear rhyme and mixed. You got it. Awesome. So that's the first question. So Mark Berman, email Heather at HelicopterGround.com. She probably already told you that. Email Heather at HelicopterGround.com with your shipping address. Any of you can email Heather at HelicopterGround.com for anything because she's your member concierge. She can help you take care of anything. New members, old members, returning members, you want to upgrade. Heather can handle all of it and can answer all of your basic questions. And you can contact her also on the HOGS customer service line at 574-767-1797. We've got a bunch of specials going. Contact Heather and she will know. She knows how to hook you up. First time that we've been back together in a hangar for a while. She's made a few recent trips lately. But, you know, life's getting back to a little more normal for us here in north central Indiana. So yesterday she's on the, you know, we're shooting video and doing stuff and phone's going ding and phone's ringing and she's on there and I'm listening to her. She knows the lingo. She can talk to talk with you about these helicopter memberships and your ratings and our special offers and our one-on-ones. So let's give away that. We gave away the large already, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to give away extra large. So this is a little more difficult along the same lines. What are the four intensities of ice? There's four of them we have listed. So whoever answers the f with four that best match what we have written down here in the private pilot study guide. Again, link down below if you want to check it out. 400 questions. <laughs> this thing's for serious people, man. It's overwhelming. It's not for, you know, if you're just being a wimp and you want to do a quick 10 minute refresher, it's not what this is for. Just somebody wants to sit down and spend some real time going through and just going chapter to chapter and just going through and testing your knowledge. It's awesome. Are we too difficult on this one? We understand that YouTube is a little bit slow. So. Yes, I usually say that. Um, Pretty darn close. Where is it there on the screen? Um, yes, Mark, Mark, you just got it again. So trace, light, moderate, and severe is what we have here, not extreme. So Mark, can we give the hoodie to someone else, please? Since well, you just want a hoodie, I really don't want to send you the other hoodie. That doesn't seem quite fair. Gee, shouldn't ask such a hard question, huh? Trace, light, moderate, and severe. There you go. Dayton, as far as I could tell, Dayton's the first one to get it right after Mark. Okay, trace, light, moderate, severe. All right, we're going to go, Dayton. And sorry, Mark, but hey, I just, I, I don't think it's fair to send you the both hoodies. But thanks for answering. So we will show you a picture. Uh, Heather was chat, uh, hooked up. Our first member that took us up on what we released yesterday with the 24-month Pro Pilot Special, six one-on-ones with me. Todd, what was his last name? Todd Ketterman. Todd Ketterman. So she's going to share his picture real quick. She said, hey, I want to share your picture today. And he said, by all means, go ahead and use it. So we want to welcome Todd as the first person to take us up on the Pro Pilot 24 months with six one-on-ones with me. Is he the first? Or is there another one? He was the first one to do the one-on-one. Not the first one to buy. Is he the one? Because he already scheduled his first one-on-one -on -one for tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Boom. Crazy. So tomorrow, 11 a.m., I'm doing one-on-one. -on -one. First one. And those are limited. We're only going to sell a few of those because Heather and I discussed that before going live. And I'm like, I can't sell too many of those because we got too much going on. I can't be on the computer all day long doing Zooms. So we'll sell a few more before we take that offer down. Um, the offers are down below. 
Helicopterground.com for any of what we've got going on. All monthly subscriptions right now, 33% off. If you're an existing member, you can unsubscribe and sign back up with the discount Halloween 33, and you keep any of them, private, commercial, CFI, or instrument, as long as you want to keep them, 33% off with the code Halloween 33. That's a smoking hot deal for the amount of training that you get. I took my daughter to supper last night to Applebee's celebrate. She just got her cosmetology license, just got her first job. We went to Applebee's and what I spent with the tip was the same as what a month will cost you at Applebee's for two of us to eat. That's over, private pilot alone's over 120 videos, over 30 hours of training for the price of a meal. So. That is a great deal. That's good for anybody. Returning customers, current members, anybody new. Then we have a 50% off. We had somebody take us up on that one today. 12 months. We took 50% off of 12 months. So it's, it's a one-time payment. That's at helicopterground.com. So you only pay one time. 24 months access. 12 months, I'm sorry, I screwed up. At the end of 12 months, it expires. You will not be billed again. We used to have yearly options. We took them away because people would be pissed a year later. Oh, I didn't know it was a subscription, even though it said subscription and it said membership. So we stopped doing those a few years ago because we were just tired of people getting aggravated over it. So we don't even offer a one year anymore, but for this special, we thought we'll set it. At that time when we did the old yearly, system didn't allow us. It was either a yearly or not. There wasn't an option to just set the amount of days. So we set one for this sale for 12 months of private pilot. And you need the code Halloween 50, I think, for that. Maybe not. Either way, it'll be marked on the site at helicoptergun.com. Halloween 50, I think, is what you actually need to get that off. And then we got a pro pilot special 24 months. And then we have a pro pilot limited or unlimited too. You contact Daniel at Helicopter Ground to take care of those. Heather can set you up a time to talk with Daniel as well. And what else do I need to cover? Is that it? I think that was it. There was a lot going on there, and I didn't have time to read everything and try to. I got the, got the winners covered. They know to email me. Okay, did we have a good turnout? How many people's there? Ah! Yeah. You know what? Pretty good turnout. Tomorrow we'll come back late afternoon. Sometime in the afternoon, we'll send out an email and we'll give away. How about three t shirts tomorrow? Let's do it. All right. So tomorrow we'll be back, three t shirts. Maybe have something else cool and new to show you. Um, Ken's going to be here two more days, Thursday, Friday. And we're going to try to have aerodynamic section called done on upgrades for 2021. And then we're going to move on to something else. And I'm not even sure. Um, I know Dave Redman has a carb heat video that we actually, the FAA wanted to use that video on the FAA site. So I think as soon as we finish aerodynamics, I'm going to have Ken do an illustration to Dave Redmond's carb heat video because it's a good video. People love the way Dave teaches. Again, it was just hard to see on that little whiteboard, you know, those little green markers. So we're going to rebuild that one. When aerodynamics is done, we're going to rebuild the carb heat video, which I believe it must be in the R22 section. And I'll send that off to the FAA so they have the new version of carb heat with the new illustrations. And then... One of them I know we need to go to soon is R22 and R44. Those haven't been updated in forever. But, hey, we are hard at it. We have, more, we have definitely updated, updated or built more new videos this year in 2021 than ever in the past. But it's, you know, it's now Hogs is a team effort where 10 years ago it was Kenny Keller doing it all by himself. And now I have all kinds of people helping me to move this forward. And it was fun when... Uh, Jeff was here. We did that video a couple weeks ago. Hogs member, new CFI looking for a job. He spent the whole day here and he was, we talked, I produced a video, we shot it, I edited it, put it on YouTube, did all the stuff. While he was hanging around with me, he's like, dude, I can't believe you do all this stuff. I thought you had a team of people here. And I have a team, but most of us are, one's here and one's somewhere else and one's on the other side of the country. But it is nice that we're getting kind of a team effort back in here. It does help move things along. So remember, bad weather's coming. We send you a Hogs No-Go button. This isn't a joke. And if you got one of these, send us a picture. I've been hounding Heather. She puts a nice little note in there. It says, hey, send us a picture when you get your No-Go. It's been a long time since anybody sent us a picture. And you know what? I'm going to be transparent. I spent some good money on these, and I spend the money to ship them to you. And the story behind this came back from I learned from an EMS pilot when I was flying EMS. 
we had the, the, the Staples Easy button. It's right over there on the table. And he would turn down a flight. You know, medical crews all antsy in the background. They want to go. The hospital wants you to go. And you got the pressure. And you're pressuring yourself to go. But you know you shouldn't. He would just go, nope, we're going to have to decline the flight due to other. And he would go, boom, that was easy. And that's where it started. And that's where I got the idea. So the no-go button is to help you. That little bit of relief when you go, you know you want to go, or somebody wants you to go, home, go or your wife wants you to get home because you're going to be late for supper, or your son wants you to get home for a ball game, or whatever it is, pressure. When you know you shouldn't fly, you got to make the right decision. Live to fly another day. Helicopterground.com. All right. That was a good turnout. Thanks, everybody. We will see you tomorrow to give away three T-shirts, and hopefully I'll have something else new and cool and different to show you. So... Peace out.